Welcome to this class. In this class, we are actually going to be looking at how to update our user location. As we move with our app from point to point, we want our location to always be updating. So for instance, let me change our latitude to 5.75. Okay. We want to move our marker and our map to that particular point. So I'm going to send this in. <laughs> you can see the movement is just animated to the point where we are. All right. So we want to do it in such a way that as we are moving, we are updating the map, animating it. That way you can always know that you're really moving and your the point you were five minutes ago will be different from the point you were, you know, three seconds ago. All right. So we want to constantly be updating as you're moving. All right. So that's what we're going to be looking at in this particular class. As you can see, the update is taking place every three seconds, which is exactly what we said when we are configuring our location services. So guys, without much ado, let's jump right into it. Okay. So for us to be able to, you know, get location updates, we need to have an instance of a location callback. All right. We need a location callback. So to do that, we're going to define a new method. And call it start location updates all right so to start location updates we're going to first of all check if we have the permission to do that as usual so we're going to say check location permissions remember this returns a bool so if this is true we're going to say location client dot request location update. And we're going to pass it our location request m location request, and we're going to need to pass it our location callback. All right. So to do that, we need to define a new location callback. So guys, like I always said, I like keeping things pretty clean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to define a new location callback helper. All right. So we we'll go to solutions. I'm going to create a new folder and call it a helper. I'm going to call this helpers. So we're going to add a new class to it. An empty class. This class I'm going to call it location callback helper okay so now we are here all right so our location callback helper need to inherit from location callback Okay, so we need to resolve this. All right, let's get rid of this. We don't need it. So now we are here. We need to override on location availability. We need to check if the location is even available. So what we're going to do here is very simple. We're going to say log. We actually don't need to do much here. I can just log it. So I'll just log it. Log dot debug. I'm gonna say Uber clone. We actually, you actually might just want to leave this without doing anything. We have to do another override. This one is actually the most important. Okay, this will be on location result. So now, this location result will have our locations inside of it, all right? It will have our current updated location inside of it. So now the challenge is to find a way to send this back into our main activity. The way I usually do is to create an event that I will use to send this location result into our main activity. Some persons might want to, you know, grab an instance of our main activity, but I mostly don't like doing that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new event handler that will use to, you know, send this location result to our main activity. So to do that, I'm going to say public 
class on location captured captured event args and this is going to inherit from event args okay so here I'm going to say public android dot locations dot location and I'm going to call this location right get set so now let's define a new event handler I'm going to say public event handler of the type of on location captured event args and I'm going to call this my location right so now once we capture our current location I'm going to send it back so I'm going to say if result that's this location result so I'm going to count the number of locations inside of it it has to be greater than zero right So if the count is not zero, so I'm going to say my locations, I'm going to check for null. So guys, event is actually a very nice way of, you know, grabbing, you know, grabbing values from you know, another class, like into your main class. These are the locations, and we're going to grab the last one. We're going to grab the first one, the one on top. And so once our location changes, our location callback um, helper will fire a new event that will return our current location for us. All right, so we need to go back to our main activity. We need to define a new location callback. So to do that, we're going to say location callback helper. So we'll bring, it, we'll bring this in. We're going to call this um, location callback. All right. So let's head to our create location request. That's where we have the setup for most of our location services. So we will go here, we're going to say M location callback equal to new location callback helper. So we're going to say M location callback dot my location. And this is the event that we created earlier before. Okay. So we're going to add it here. And so whenever our location changes, it will fire up this event. So whatever we do here is actually what will happen whenever a new updated location has been found. So, so, so let's go ahead and complete this. Now that we've defined a new location callback, I'll put no. So we are done here. So this is how we start our location update. So let's say per adventure our user moves from one point to another point. We want to update our last location to be equal to the new updated location. Okay, so now the next thing we need to do is to update our map. So to do that, let's define a new instance of lab launch and call it my position. This should be equal to new lat launch so so we'll pass it the longitude and latitude values of our updated location okay so we're going to say m last location dot latitude m dot last location dot longitude okay so the next thing is we're going to animate our map so we're going to say mem map dot animate camera bracket camera update factory dot new lat launch zoom I will now pass it my position I will now pass it the zoom of 12 so guys this is just how to you know implement our callback so now the next thing we need to do is 
is to ensure that the location update begins immediately our app start running. So what we need to do is in our onCreate method, we'll call start location update. All right. So let me open up our onCreate method. So after getting my location, I want to start location update. Start location update. All right. So guys, let's run our app and see it in action. Our build is completing. Okay. So here we are. So what we're going to do is we're going to send in an updated location. Okay. So let's change this to five. You can see it just moved to 5.75. So is the map is updating. So it will keep updating until you get exactly to this point. All right. All right. So let's put something much closer that is not too far. So guys, this is how to update our location on the map. As you can see, it's moving. If we change the values of our longitude and latitude, the our map will update to that particular point. So you can see it taking shape in real time, right? So this is just how to do that. Okay, so guys, how about to stop the location updates, right? To stop the location updates, we just need to create a new method and call it stop location updates. Okay, we're going to just have to check if our location client is not null and our location callback should not be null as well. So if this condition is satisfied, we're going to say location client the remove location updates. We're going to say m location we're going to pass it m location callback as you can see composite m location callback which is the callback that we're using to update our location so guys this is just how to do that depending on the kind of tax you're handling when your app is in the background if you're not using the location updates for anything you can want to override on pause and on stop so that whenever your app enters background it could stop updating your location all right and whenever it comes back to the foreground, you could resume your location updates, all right? To do that, you just need to set some flags and you'll be fine. But for the sake of this app, we probably might need to be doing some things in the background when our app is running, when the location is being updated. So we don't need to override on resume and on pause and stop and start our location update. We always want our location update to start whenever we want it to start, okay? So guys, this is just how to, you know, get um, updates of our lo current location. I hope you really enjoy the class. So guys, see you in the next class.